anything I can help you with, Agent? I hear you're on point looking into the gold mask mercs that hit us in Dubai. Any leads yet? <laughs> Christ, I know I'm good, Jensen, but I've only been on it for five minutes. A lot can happen in five minutes, McCready. You check with the ME yet? Get anything off the bodies we recovered? Leftovers are on ice at the Oman substation. I've been told they were scrubbed clean as summer whites. No prints, no dental, no nothing. So in other words, it's no steps forward and two steps back. For now. That's why it's a good thing you disabled the Jin's comms booster in Dubai. Seems cover with the Jin is still intact. I'm hoping once he's back in Basra, he can use his network to dig around. Maybe these gold mask jokers will ping locally. Probably another fucking jihad looking to make some noise. I don't know. I'm not so sure we should be looking for these guys in the desert. Ah, oh, is that so? You have some new information you feel like sharing? Come on, McCready. These guys were augmented with military-grade hardware. Body augmentation goes against Muslim beliefs. They weren't jihadists. We're dealing with something new here. I can see where you're going with this, Jensen, and I'm asking you right now to back off it. It's not your case. Come on, McCready. We're not a couple of beat cops filling a monthly quota here. This isn't about whose collar it is. It's about getting the people responsible. Full stop. Look, I get what you're saying, but I'm working a $5 investigation on 50 cents worth of shit. I've got speculation to spare, mate. Listen, I know I come off strong. I've got three ex-wives that'll back that up. But that's just how I'm built. Putting on a show for the new guys isn't gonna change what's underneath. I can appreciate that kind of honesty. Good. So when I say I'm impressed with how you handled yourself in Dubai, you can appreciate that I meant it. With that sandstorm giving us colonics, stripping the juice box out the chopper was an inspired choice. But that mission is over, and your involvement in it ends now. Got it? Yeah. But tell me, why do you think the bodies from Dubai were sent to Oman? Fuck knows. Rumor is that Oman was pissed that we got the green light for the gig in the first place. Can't blame them, really. You don't think it's strange we got the call over them? I stopped questioning the logic of the big noise a long time ago. What I'm told is, we were the only team ready to go. Yeah, that's what I heard too. So then, you know what I know. That everything? How the hell did you get such a sunny disposition anyway, McCready? Knowing about me is not gonna make us friends, Jensen. But I'll humor you, fine. I joined regular army straight out of secondary school, made UKSF at 25 and was recruited into the SRR four years later. Special Reconnaissance Regiment. That's an elite unit. Oh yeah, it's very glamorous. All champagne and blowjobs. <laughs> so what happened? After 12 years hunting terrorist shipbirds across every desert on the face of the earth, I found there was no fucking end to the evil this world churned out. I couldn't see the point in what we were doing anymore. So, I quit. So what brought you back to the life? I suppose it was purpose. A tool without a job to do can only grow rust. So, here I am, back in it, serving my purpose. As a tool yourself, mate, you should understand that, yeah? Yeah, I got it. It was nice talking to you, McCready. No, it wasn't. 